Hello and welcome. I've had a few requests asking about my UT99 setup. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how I built the version I'll be using from now on. I recently installed UT99 using the old Unreal Launcher. And I actually made a video about that not too long ago. This setup builds on top of that installation. But if you want the exact same version I use in my Web & Guide series, then I recommend using the HD Community Bundle as your main installation. And don't update it. I'll explain why a bit later. Otherwise, the process is pretty much the same. Alright, let's get started. I've already downloaded the following. The UT99 version 469D HD Community Bundle. The UT99 Icon Collection Unreal Gold HD Remastered Textures version 4. UT99 HD Remastered Textures version 4. And finally, Reshade. First, I'll extract the Community Bundle. While that's unpacking, I'm going into the system folder of my Unreal Tournament install, opening the uDemo ini file and changing the path where my demo demos are recorded. That extraction can take a while. So while we wait, thank you so much for 1000 subscribers. Whether this channel ever becomes monetized or not, time will tell. But if it does, I'd love to give something back to the community, somehow. I'm not promising anything, but it's something I have been dreaming about. So, let's cross our fingers. Once the community bundle is done extracting, copy everything into your main Unreal Tournament folder. But don't overwrite anything. Ah, I just noticed I accidentally overwrote the textures. That's not what I wanted. But no worries, I'll fix it. So here's what to do. I rename the texture folder to Textures SD. SD as in Standard Definition. This will be my folder for the original textures, which I will download later. Then I copy the 2K Textures folder into the main UT folder. Now, for safety, I'm going to make backups of the Unreal Tournament ini file and the user ini file. And then I'll copy the new ini files from the community bundle to the system folder, replacing the old ones. Next is the icons. I'll extract the UT99 icon collection and copy the icons into the help folder in my Unreal Tournament installation. To use one, just right-click your UT99 desktop shortcut, go to Properties and, chain, and hit Change icon. Then browse to your help folder and choose one. I'm going with the UT99 launcher icon. Even though it looks like it's a lower resolution, it's, it's not. It will display just fine on your desktop. After applying the icon, make a copy of the shortcut and name it Unreal Tournament Save. Right click it, open properties again and in the target field add a space and then type minus save. Now change this shortcut icon to the save mode icon. Next. I'm creating a shortcut to the cache folder and moving it to the desktop for easy access. Once again, right click and go to properties and assign the cache icon from the help folder. And finally, I'll update the icon for Unreal Editor as well. And now let's organize the textures. First, I rename the folder with 2K textures to Textures 2K. Then I make a copy of that folder and rename it to Textures 4K. Now I'll extract the Unreal Gold HD textures 
and copy them into the 4K folder, overriding everything. Then I do the same with the UT99 HD textures, again overwrite everything. This keeps the height and bump textures, also known as normal maps or textures. But just to clarify, these normal textures are not the default textures. They are advanced textures that give a kind of a 3D effect. Unfortunately, the DirectX 11 renderer from old Unreal doesn't support those effects, and it does not give you the same reflectiveness as the old DirectX 11 renderer by Dark Novice MC did. But my experience is that the old renderer by Dark Novice MC is unstable when used with UT99 latest patch. And I want to stick with the latest patch for stability and support. Plus, I really like the improvements they have made. Now, let's retrieve the default standard textures that came with the original Unreal and Unreal Tournament 99. There's a link to download them in the video description. Once it's downloaded, I'll extract it and copy it into my Unreal Tournament folder. Then I will delete the old Texture SD folder and rename the new one to Textures SD. The folder named Textures is the one the game actually uses. So if I want to use the 4K textures, I will rename that folder back to just Textures. Now for Reshade. Since I installed UT through the old Unreal Launcher, I expected Reshade to detect it automatically. But it doesn't, so I'll just browse manually to the system folder and select the exe file. For rendering, I choose the DirectX 10, 11, 12, because that's the one I'll be using. You can select as many effects as you want, but keep in mind, the more you load, the longer the game takes to start, especially on slower systems. I prefer using the presets in your files from the community bundle instead of picking individual effects. It's in the system folder. There it is. Reshade on in your file. You'll see there's a lot of effects to choose from but using a preset saves time. Still, if you know of any must-have effects, feel free to share them in the comments. Time to launch the game. You can press home to start the reshade tutorial, but I'll skip that. I'll go into preferences and set up everything the way I like it. If you're setting up UT99 for the first time, just follow the instructions on the background image. It has a full setup guide. Once that's done, I will check which mutators are enabled by default in this bundle. I'll also add the Unreal Enhanced Mutator. It's supposed to improve some sound effects, though maybe only in the campaign mode. And I'm in the arena match. But just in case, I'm enabling it. The game looks great, but the HUD is way too big. The controls feel good. I just need to get used to them again. It's been a long time since I played with the weapon hand hidden. Oh, and I'm not a big fan of the generic bot, bot names. Uh, the bot 1, bot 2 names. I'll change that later in this video. Now I want to test Monster Hunt, which is included in this bundle. Some say it causes mismatches on servers. I usually start with the Monster Hunt Mayhem server. Good news! No mismatch. No mismatch. And the textures looks great. I could honestly keep playing but I'm not done setting this thing up yet. 
Sometimes I need a local server for testing theories, experiments, or just to play with friends. First, I download the replay server build add-on. After extracting, I open the admin build add-on folder and copy the three included folders into my main Unreal Tournament folder. Next, I open the file called install xconsole text and copy the line it gives me. Then, I open my Unreal Tournament ini file and I find and I find the line that says console equals ut menu ut console and replace it with a new one from the text file. Now I need a server build. The server add-on works perfectly with the replay retail build, and I've linked that in the description too. I extract it and rename the folder to UT99 server and move it to my C drive. Inside the replay server build add-on folder, copy everything from the UT99 server folder into the UT99 server in your C drive. Replace all files. There are a few shortcuts in there already, but the only one I use is run server. I'll copy that to my desktop. Now about those bot names. Go to a server's built user ini file. Scroll down to bot names and copy them all. I only copy the names, but honestly, I recommend copying the entire bot section. Some bots have unique skins or behavior linked to the names, and you might lose that if you only copy the names. Then go to your main Unreal Tournament folder, open the user ini and paste the new bot settings in the same settings. Now the bots are no longer just called bot1, bot2 and so on. Let's test the server. It looks like it's running. Yep, there it is on the LAN servers. I press numpad 3 to open map vote, but you'll notice there are no maps listed yet. That's because the map list hasn't been refreshed. You only need to refresh it once, and, uh, one, and then again anytime you add new maps. Open the console window. Now you will see the X console is active. Go to the custom tab. There's a refresh map button here. But it won't work until you log in as an admin. Just click the login button. And now you can refresh your map. The map list. Ta-da! There are tons of game types to choose from. A quick heads up. The Assault Bonus Pack mode only works for players who already have it installed. It won't download automatically for your guests. Let's try Dark Match mode. Smooth. Let's shut it down. Hmm, what now? I feel like I have forgotten something. I think I will try out some more online play. I've heard that the 4K textures can sometimes cause a server refuse to send error. So I'll test that. I'm joining a server by no. It has 305 packages. So if there's something going to be a problem, it will probably show up here. So far so good. But it's an unlucky map. These sound effects are super annoying. I'm logging out. I'm logging off. And that's my current UT99 setup. I'm thinking about doing a follow-up where I go through some of the comments I've received about the HD Community Bundle and some of the comments I found on the archive. Maybe I'll try to react or fix some of the issues people have mentioned. 
And just to clarify, if you want the same setup I used in my Web and Guide series, go with the HD Community Bundle and don't update it. Otherwise, you'll lose the reflections and 3D texture effects. But if you can do without it and choose to update, you will get general improvements, bug fixes and better stability. And who knows, maybe they'll support the normal textures someday. That's why I'm keeping them in my Unreal Tournament install anyway. If you watched all the way to the end, please leave a comment and let me know if you like this kind of content. Thanks again and see you out there.